どこ妙見The primary focus in Doku Myoken is the control of the space or the Ma. And as you'll notice as we go through this, Shimabu Kuro Sensei invites me in on each step and tricks me on the very last step. Rather than taking the usual large step that he's taking, he takes a small step and invites me in to take a very deep cut, which opens up my center line. So we both draw out the Chuda no Kamai. And as I pressure forward with my Kisaki, it forces him once again into hustle. As I create and try to take up space, Shitachi moves and takes up, it matches that space as I, as I do my first cut from right to left. Once again, then I try to threaten, push him back, and he matches my space and my distance again, cutting now from left to right. Notice on each step, He's taking a little shuffle and then a bigger step. But on this one, he's going to invite me in, and I get closer than I, what I originally thought I was going to do. So I step and I cut directly down the center. He takes a small step, and now I'm closer than what I was before. Notice Sensei's sword is here and not extended. With an extended sword, he's fully used all of his weight and all of his extension in the block so that it, if I wanted to cut, he can't move the sword fast enough. However, back closer to his head, when I go to make that cut, it's easy for him to block that side or to this side. Again, extended, very difficult to do. The arms won't move fast enough. So he's extending, plus now I'm fully extended at this point. He's invited me in, he's accepted, he's, all, he's wound up and ready to spring. I'm fully extended, so now I am at the disadvantage. He now explodes, extends, cutting toward my center line and turning his body, which deflects my sword off his right shoulder, pushing downward, pulling back to his center, and then thrusting under the ribs. I shuffle back slightly to receive it. I step back, he continues to threaten my center line, bringing my sword back on line, and then up to match in Chudan no Kamai. Lowering into Gaidan, and back to the starting position. Doko Myoken. Tsubamegaeshi. Tsubo Megaeshi is, takes advantage of being able to change the sword direction very quickly. Tsubo Mei means swallow as the bird, and Gaeshi means to turn. So it's a quickly turning action like a, like a flying bird. So Uchitachi draws the sword into Chudan no Kamai and then steps forward into Jodan no Kamai with his left foot. At that point, Uchitachi, which is me, closes the distance until I'm within Kirima or cutting distance, which means one step more 
and I will be able to cut him. So I close the distance until I feel that I'm within one step of cutting him. As I do so, I step in, and Shitachi moves the sword on a direct line straight up as he moves his body out of the way, receiving my sword. I'm very extended now, so his body can push me just slightly forward, and I re retreat into Haso no Kamai. He attacks once, cutting to my left, twice, cutting to my right, and the third time, I'm trying to control the center line, but he cuts right down my own center line, so I step back with my feet together into Jora no Kamai, so my kote, or my wrist, don't get cut. Notice at this point, he's leaning slightly forward. He's cutting all the way through to my knees. At this point, he's baiting me as to where I want to cut. Obviously, since if you wouldn't stay, I can cut here. That's his idea to tell me that go ahead and cut, but he's now baited me so that he can do three different endings. The first ending, as we demonstrated in the regular motion, was to do a kirikaishi, upward cut, and then a reverse cut to the neck. A second ending, he can perform an ukenagashi type block and cut downward to the head. The third possibility is to move in the opposite direction and do a yokuichi monji across the body. We return back to Chudan no Kamai and lower the swords into Gaidan. Tsubame Gaeshi.